Hi, I'm Megan Hamilton and we are putting out a new record on April 7th, 2009 called See Your Midnight Breath in the Shipyard. Mark Fogelsang is the engineer and uh, sound designer and co-producer of this album. Uh, I've known Mark for about uh, four or five years now. We, I produced a play that he did the music for. And then he came out and saw me sing and uh, asked if he could record some demos. And we became pretty close friends. Uh, and just, I mean, I think it was six months later we, we started recording the first record. Uh, one of our biggest challenges this time was that we only had five days in the studio uh, to get everything down. So we, uh, I can't remember exactly how it went, we got drums done in the first two days and uh, then we did bass and keys and and then then it was down to two it was just Craig and I for the last couple of days um, just doing all the guitar parts and uh, like all the layers and all of the um, all of the vocals so I mean the majority of the vocals on this record were done at between the hours of 11 p.m. and 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. and then after that Craig did all of his guitar solos. <laughs> like, I remember it was like 7.30 and like in the morning we'd been going forever and it was just, it was just like, I can't believe. <laughs> but then, you know, sometimes you get some pretty wicked stuff when you're just pushed to the max or, uh, you know, it was challenging, but I think we, I think we did a really good job. What Mark has done has, he has put all of the sounds on the album in a ship. So, uh, if you've seen The Life Aquatic, you know that kind of cross section of the ship, he kind of drew a, a, um, a picture that's not too dissimilar from that, or at least the concept of that, and he did a lot of research on ships and the different rooms, and then he started doing research on the sonic properties of these rooms, and then he started doing the math and figuring out how the drums would sound if they were in the boiler room, um, how the bass sounded if it was on a stairwell, if I was singing on the deck into the night. He did a lot of research uh, on um, what happens to uh, sound coming out of your mouth, like your voice, if it's cold. I so. just fine and clearly and clearly repeated the line. If you jump from the sky, little star, little star, the ship will be by. experience was a little bit different because we were in the OYART studios uh, where Mark teaches. It's an audio engineering school and so we got the benefit of, you know, studio equipment and um, rooms that were actually built for what we were doing. Plus I got to have the band so that was really neat and we have Steve Pachelski on keys, Adam White on bass, uh, Craig Brown on backup vocals and guitars and pedals, and Andy Sadaway on drums. I, I feel really good about this album. Uh, I'm looking forward to it, you know, being out 
and people listening to it um, and just for it being in the world and uh, not so much just this thing that we're working on that nobody else knows about. <laughs> but I'm really proud and I'm really proud of Mark. I'm proud of the guys uh, who, you know, who uh, played instruments and did all their stuff. They, they just totally, they were put in a, in a crazy situation and they, they totally delivered. So I feel like there was a lot of, a lot, everybody had these personal challenges and I think we really 